girl Roderica B back at it again with another YouTube video. So I realized I never formally introduced myself. My name is Roderica Travis. I'm 19 years old. I am a junior in college majoring in business administration. I am the founder and CEO of my business Diamond Mink Slash Company. On this channel, I'm going to be giving you guys my college advice and sharing with you my business experience. Now you know who I am, let's get started. In my last entrepreneurial video, I told you guys that I was going to make a video about how to find a vendor. Now if you haven't watched that video, that means if you don't pause this video, <laughs> go watch that video. I'll wait. And then come back to this video. And if you already watched that video, then you on top of it. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. And now you ready for the gems I'm about to drop in this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys two methods of how to find a vendor. The first method is through an app called Alibaba. When you go into the app, you're gonna go into the search bar and type in what you're looking for. In this case, we're looking at mink eyelashes. The next thing I like to do is to go to filter and choose verify supplier. And then from there you just scroll through until you find something you like. I want to make note that they have prices on here and they have a minimum order on here. But don't worry about any of that right now and I'm going to tell you why later in the video. From here, I scroll down until I see the vendor's profile and click on it. Next, I click the three lines in the top right and that brings up the categories. Then I scroll through their lash options and package options. One thing you want to note is the WhatsApp number. It's usually found in the details section and is what you're going to use to contact them. The second method I'm going to show you is Instagram. Shame the self promo, go follow your girl. What you're going to want to do here is go to tags and type in mink lashes. And then you're just going to scroll down until you come to something that looks like this. Things that look like this is more than likely going to be a vendor. And from there, you just scroll through, see what they got. If you like the packaging they offer and the lashes that they offer, then go on and add them to the list. Don't forget to make note of the WhatsApp number. It's going to be listed in their bio. One thing you want to stay away from is vendors like this who don't solely do lashes or at least have lashes as their main specialty. You can also try other lash related hashtags and repeat this same process. Another thing I like to avoid is vendors who don't have a lot of posts, like 15, 20, 30 posts. No, I like to go for vendors that got hundreds and hundreds of posts. Now that you know how to go about finding a vendor, what apps to use, I hope you made out a list of potential vendors. Now, let's go and talk about the questions you need to ask. The very first question I ask when I talk to a vendor is, do they offer samples? And after that, usually they send you a whole bunch of pictures of everything they offer. They send you a picture of the boxes and all that. But if they don't, then the second thing you need to ask for is pictures of the product. After you get those pictures, you go through and you ask them how much it is for samples and then how much it costs for boxes. After you get those prices together, the next thing you need to ask about is the MOQ, which is the minimum order quantity. And what that is, is the smallest amount that they'll allow you to order. The next thing I like to ask is the shipping time and the shipping cost. Shipping cost is basically how much they're going to charge you for shipping. And I'm going to let you know right now that shipping is not cheap. 
when I ordered my samples, I ordered two pair and they were $4 a piece and shipping was $22. So I paid $30 for two pair of samples. And then the next thing, like I said, is shipping time. How long is it going to take them for the ship it out? What's the processing time? I, how long is this whole thing going to take? That is very, very important to know how long it's going to take for them to get your order in. That way you know how quick you can get out to your customers. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to talk to y'all about is how do you go about choosing which vendors to get samples from? So, one important factor to me is the response time. Like, how long does it take for you to respond to my messages? I had a vendor where I would text them today and then I didn't hear from them for another two days. And then I send that message and don't hear from them for another more two days. And then it's just like big old gaps in communication and that is very bad for business. Because say for instance, you ran out of product and you need some more, it's Tuesday. Now you don't hear back from your vendor until Thursday and then they charge, it's like a 10 to 15 day wait time on top of that. And it's just really, really bad for business and I say just stay away from it. Another thing I look at is the shipping time. I have vendors that said they'll take about 10 to 15 days to process and then three to five days for shipping. So I'm basically waiting three weeks to get my orders in and that's a problem. But I also had a vendor that I talked to where they can sit, they can ship my order out the exact same day and they'll be here within the next three days. So pretty much you want to look at the ones who have the shortest amount of time that it's going to take for them to get there. So recap. Response time, you want it to be quick responses, same day responses, few minutes responses, as quick as possible. And then shipping time, you want your orders to be shipped out as quickly as possible. Now, not all vendors, not all vendors going to ship you out that quick. But if you look up like I did and find a vendor that ships out same day, <laughs> then sis, you own something. Now, last thing I want to talk to you about is sampling, what to do once you get your samples in. So what I did, I ordered from one vendor. You can go and order from like three different vendors and get all the samples in and compare them to one another. But I didn't do that. I just ordered from one vendor and I tested it. And what I did, I tested it until they were worn out. I wore my lashes about 20 times before they wore out. And they really didn't, war they really didn't wear out. Like one of them, I messed it up myself because I didn't take care of it the right way. But I could really get more wear out of those lashes. So typically, you want your lashes to be able to last at least 15 wears. At least. If you can go 20 to 25, that is perfect. That is much better. But at least 15. If your lashes giving out after like 5 or 10 times, they're not right for you. And you need to go find you another vendor. Yeah, I feel like I missed something. Um, hmm. I talked about what questions to ask, how to choose where to get samples from, and what to do when you're sampling them. Hmm. I think that's everything. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.